What up, what up? It's Jay Hint. I'm just making a quick review of the Herschel Pop Quiz. Uh, I love this bag. I got, uh, it's very reminiscent to the old Jan Sport that I used to have way back in the day. Uh, the new ones, don't love so much. The newest one that I got is the one all the way on the right hand side. The all black, love the colorway, black on black on black. It's my favorite color way by far, uh, but it also seems to feel like the cheapest, the materials have downgraded. They've just, quality is not where it used to be. And you're actually paying more. That one was $95. The original one, I paid 80, and it is far superior. So I think it's one of those things, just you're getting, less for more and that seems to be true with Herschel as well um, and so we're just going to go through these it's actually advertised as a 15 inch laptop bag and it actually fits up to a 16 inch so this is a 16 inch MacBook Pro you can see that it easily fits in there easily there's a false bottom on the laptop bag, so even with it all the way in there, you're not going to be, your computer's not going to be touching the ground. You can see how high that comes up. Each side of this is fleece lined. This is padded. The back is also padded, but both are fleece lined, so just added extra protection. It's extremely nice. This is thick. i say at least quarter inch padding. Um... It's built, it's, it's awesome, it's quality. It takes, it, uh, takes care of your stuff. They have this pocket up front. They advertise it to put your sunglasses in. It is also fleece lined, as you can see. Uh, I actually like to put my mouse in there. That's kind of how I carry my mouse. But like I said, as you can see, it's a fleece lined pocket. Uh, that's extremely nice. Eh, just, a, an added touch, a nice little detail that they have. Mm, typical front pocket stuff. It's actually a waterproof zipper. Nice little added touch. Everything's in the details, it seems like. It seems like the... The newer bags, they lost sight of the details, and that's really where it's going wrong. Uh, you've got a... A nice large pocket up front, uh, storage, keys, things like that, little key clip, pretty standard, um, nothing special. A little storm flap that goes over the zipper, that's a nice detail. I'm going to refer to the details because like I said, it seems like they're losing the details in this. Uh, good sturdy handle. It's just nice. It's you can tell that it's well made, and that they I don't know they weren't trying to just mass produce everything. Maybe uh, it was much well, it's much better made, and you're getting more for your money. It seems you even have a little media pocket on the inside of here, and a little outlet to where you can string a cord through there, listen to music, whatever, or you can charge, something like that. So that is kind of the OG that I carry around day to day. That's awesome. Now let's go to the new one where you can just see oh, just the, the glaring differences right off the bat. As you can see, Here's that same 16 inch, puts in there fine, but you can also see that the coverage, the protection is extremely lacking. It does not go nearly as high up. This is only nylon on the inside there. They lost the fleece. There's no longer a fleece line on the inside of this or the, the, the protection part. So it does fit a 16 inch, awesome. But, um, just, they're just kind of lacking in the protection. 
Uh, they move the pocket from this side of the flap to the back side, which is nice, but they also change that. It's no longer fleece lined either, just standard nylon. I guess that's all right, but just the fleece is kind of a nice little touch when you're thinking of the details and keeping protection on your, your things. It's, it's nicer if you were to put your glasses on there. I'd rather my glasses be running up against some fleece as opposed to just nylon. Uh, still standard, same on the inside. They do give you two pockets on the outside, which is probably the only improvement that they made, honestly, in my opinion. Uh, waterproof zipper on the front, same, sta same standard pocket. Um, they did away, they kind of made the uh, front pocket up here a little bit more basic, uh, not as, I just would consider it a downgrade, honestly. And, as you can see, they took away the storm guard, or I don't know what you would call that, but there's no longer a piece that covers up the zipper, which, to me, is just one of the details that you are not getting but you're paying more for. I don't know why they did that, but you can even see it on this model right here. You can see that there's a flap over your zipper, which is nice. Kind of rain outside. You know that nothing's getting in that zipper. This one's a waterproof zipper, doesn't matter. But this one at least had it covered. So this is actually my favorite colorway that's gonna get sent back. Unfortunately, you can just see that it's just, it's, it's much cheaper. I don't know if you can see this. It's just as a nylon handle, which is definitely not as durable what they had on before. It's just nylon that can easily rip, get tears. Uh, it just seems like a much cheaper, inferior product. So this is a 15 inch laptop, uh, but some actually fits as a 16, so you can see that, it's fine, fantastic. This, if you were going to get a Herschel today, I would recommend going to the sales. This is where I got this pop quiz from, but you can see that they kept, this is in the sale item, I paid $62 for this one, $95 for this one, the original one I paid $80 for, so... This one, you can see, fleece line, fleece line, 16 inch, fits fine. You can see how much more protection you're getting compared to this one right here. You can also see that your pocket up here for your sunglasses, I like to put the mouse, is also fleece lined again, which is fantastic. I will say, the details each year they seem to be just caring about making more money because they did away with the media pocket inside of your backpack did away with a little notch on the outside you don't have the outside pockets like the newest one uh, standard front pocket waterproof zipper again very nice you can see that the you have a storm flap over this zipper as opposed to this one. No storm flap. This one does have a storm flap. A nice little detail that they added or kept, I should say. And your organization is much better. You get more pens, little media pocket here. Just pretty standard, nice stuff. You can also see that you have a more durable handle up top than just your basic nylon. Um, it's just a better product. So, with that being said, unfortunately it seems like Herschel is giving you less for more money and, you know, they're just, the, the quality seems to be downgrading. So, if you were interested in getting one of these pop quiz backpacks, I would recommend going to the sales 
and getting one of their sale items. That's where I got this. Like I said, sixty-two dollars. Um, and I think you're going to be much happier with the quality of that. If you didn't know any better, then it wouldn't be so bad. But I do know better, and I was extremely disappointed when I got my new Herschel bag. I absolutely love the colorway, but I was just extremely disappointed with some of the small details about it, and I debated uh, whether I should send it back or not, and there's just too many things about it that seem much cheaper than previous models. Uh, this one, the OG, I think is probably the best made. Um, and this one, the most recent one that I paid $95, the most expensive one that I paid, is actually going to get sent back. So, with that being said, this one to help someone make a, a decision. If you are going to get one of these pop quiz bags, I would recommend going to the sales section and looking and seeing if they have any colorways there that you like and would be interested in. It just seems like the newest one really isn't going to be worth the money. So unless they change that and start paying attention to that, then it looks like they're just going to kind of downgrade as far as quality is concerned. And that's unfortunate, especially for, you know, someone that's going to pay a hundred dollars for a backpack. So there you go.